Have you ever asked yourself this question? Does uh, prayer even work? And uh, if it does work, how does that prayer work? What really happens? How does it work? Now, guys, we have to understand that uh, there is no magical formula for prayer. And uh, in the simplest terms, prayer is just uh, staying in communication with God, talking to Him, spending time in His presence, and drawing near to Him. And uh, through prayer, we express adoration and thanks to God. And uh, we make requests known to Him, and we intercede for others, and we learn more about His character and the will of God for our lives. Now, learning how prayer works is part of the natural process of growing in our relationship with the Lord. As we develop an active and continuous connection with uh, God our Father through Jesus Christ His Son, by the power of His indwelling Spirit, we discover the heart of prayer. And uh, prayer is a uniquely human activity. No other beings have the privilege of communicating in such a way with their maker and redeemer. But prayer can be intimidating at times, especially if you are unfamiliar with the practice or if you have been taught to see prayer as a complex, formal or ritualized activity. And uh, friends, you have to understand that the foundation of prayer that works is a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus told us to pray in his name. Like we see in John 16, 23 to 24, it says, And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say unto you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive, that your joy may be full. Now, that is to pray in his authority. Friends, we have to understand on the basis of our union with him. For what would honor and glorify God? What else? And uh, because Jesus is our great high priest, we can approach his throne his throne of grace with confidence. Remember what he's told us in the book of Hebrews 14, 4, uh, uh, 4 verse 14 to 16. He says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. My friend, you have to understand that prayer that works is the effective prayer and uh, it must be offered in faith. The Bible tells us about faith in the book of James 1.5. If anyone if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. And it continues and says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Guys, some, the part of praying in faith, Jesus, is, Jesus taught that uh, we should persevere in prayer and we should never, ever give up. We should never give up. Like he says in Luke 18.1, one, one day Jesus told his disciples a story to, to show that they should always pray and never give up. They should never give up. Prayer is relational. It is not meant to be forced, but rather to flow comfortably from the heart. Since God knows our hearts, do you know God knows your heart? God does not know your heart. 
Let me show you in the book of Psalms 44, 21. Shall God, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Luke 16, 15. And he said unto them, You are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Acts 15.8 And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did to us. And also Romans 8.27 And he, he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he meth, maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Friends, you have to understand that prayer is based on God's love for us. As children of a compassionate father, we can trust God and turn to him to care for our needs. We can turn to him. Look at Isaiah 64, 8-9. It says, But now, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay, and you are our potter, and we are the work of your hand. Let's uh, uh, be not so terribly angry, O Lord, and remember not iniquity forever. Behold, please look, we are all your people. We are all your people. Are you a, a person of God? Are you a child of God? Psalms 103, 13 to 14, it says, Like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. He remembers that we are dust. So guys, if we genuinely want to know how prayer works, we will make it our mission to study the power, the, 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 the prayer of Jesus Christ, God's Son. More than anyone else, Jesus shared a close personal connection with God the Father, and therefore he is our best example to follow. Jesus gave his disciples this specific teaching about prayer he told them in matthew 6 5 to 8 and when you pray you shall not be like the hypocrites for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by men assuredly i say unto you they have their reward but you when you pray go into your room and when you have shut your door pray to your father who is in the secret place Matthew 6, 7 to 8 says, But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. You have to understand that Jesus stressed honest, heartfelt prayer. Heartfelt prayer based on a loving relationship with God the Father. Through the Lord's prayer, Jesus also gave his disciples a pattern for prayer. First, he showed them what their motives in prayer ought to be, that God's name be honored and this will be fulfilled. Look at uh, Matthew 6, 9 to 10. It says, In this manner therefore pray, Our Father in heaven, our Lord be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's the main thing. Also, submissions to God's will was a defining characteristic of Jesus Christ's prayer life. Think about it in the book of Luke. In the book of Luke 22 verse 42, Jesus himself when he was praying, he said, Father, if you're willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, Yet not my will, but yours be done. So God answers prayers that lines up with his will. This is the confidence that we have. Okay? This is the confidence. Let me just show you the verse. The Bible says in 1 John 4, uh, uh, 5, 14 to 15, This is the confidence which we have bef before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests which you have asked from him. Jesus told, 
taught uh, the disciples that through prayer they should come to God to meet their daily needs. Let God meet your daily needs. In Matthew 6:11, Jesus talks about when you pray, always ask God to give you your daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread because our Father takes care of us. We don't have to worry about what we might need today or in the future. We just talk to God about our needs and we depend on Him as our faithful provider. Because you have to understand, prayer also involves searching our hearts, recognizing that we need we need God's forgiveness and confessing our sins. Look at Matthew 6, 12. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Matthew 6, 12. Just as our Father graciously forgives us, we are to forgive those who wrong us. Giving and receiving forgiveness is a vital element of our intimate fellowship with God in prayer. So guys, we have to understand that Jesus also told, taught that prayer is an opportunity to receive strength from God to resist the enemy's temptations. Okay? Look at this verse, Matthew 6, 3. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Deliver us from the evil one. And verse 26, uh, uh, 20, uh, chapter 26 to 41 of Matthew, it says, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. There are some times, my friends, that prayer keeps us tuned into the Holy Spirit power and guidance to resist temptation and overcome sin. Now, a pastor and author, Andrew Murray, he provided a good description of acceptable prayer, writing that it must, he said that it must be to the glory of God in full surrender to his will, in full assurance to his, uh, of faith, in the name of Jesus, and with a perseverance that, if need be, refuses to be denied. So far, we have only scratched the surface. We have only scratched the surface of exploring how prayer works. The Bible has much more to say about it. And the bottom line is, however, that is, prayer works through the believer's ongoing relationship with the living God. We should pursue a relationship with God. Okay? And uh, those who are in Christ have the unique privilege of spending their lives discovering more and more about prayer through loving interaction with their Heavenly Father. Do you pray often? And are you even saved? Because if you're not saved, the Bible says God does not hear the prayer of a sinner. You have to be saved. And how can you be saved? It's through believing the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. through It's all about understanding how that Christ died for our sins and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Christ died for our sins. He did this for you and me, brothers and sisters, so that if you believe, you will not perish. All you need to do is know that you're a sinner, hear the gospel, believe it, understand it and believe it, and then you confess what you've believed. Tell Jesus, Jesus, I now understand that you died for my sins, you are buried, and you rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Be my Lord and my Savior. And once you do that, my friends, you are saved, sealed, and sanctified unto the day of redemption. If you enjoy these videos, my friends, you can uh, like them. You can also share to your friends. You can also subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. And likewise, at the description below, we have a couple of other channels that uh, are outside YouTube. Please go and check them out. And uh, I hope it will be a blessing to you and to the people watching. God bless you and have a great time.